Good morning, folks. We've got space weather from the sun and a meteor. We've got earth weather and top science news. We're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. The last 24 hours on the sun were very quiet. The active regions that have been poised to break the silence have neglected to do so, while the central coronal hole has now impacted Earth with its solar wind. Beautiful density rise first, faster stream push bunching the slower particles ahead of it, and then it's the onset of the faster speed and higher plasma temperature. Took a brief geomagnetic storm overnight. It is waning back this morning. The stream is expected to endure a few days given the breadth of the coronal hole. One more bout of disruption from it and those electrical effects could begin at low levels. We're going to New Zealand, and this has got to be the weirdest meteor I've ever seen, and it was seen and filmed by dozens of people. This is because many saw it coming from the horizon. It stayed lit, going across the sky, all the way to still burning as it headed out of view. Folks, this looks a lot more like the Columbia shuttle disaster and how long it took. It does not at all behave like a fireball is expected to behave in our atmosphere, except for the little breakup. Either this was one of the slowest meteors ever filmed, or this was human technology on re-entry. We're coming next to Thailand, where the tropical system crossed quickly and is now in the Indian Ocean waters, but not before bringing a few minutes of terror as winds and high water inundation in the worst hit area left virtually nothing unscathed and some completely destroyed. Little note in Malta, sitting in the middle of the Mediterranean, is indeed a big deal for them to get some snow, but... The bigger and more concerning aspect is what it took to do it. Polar vortex split, looking very gnarly, but also the jet streams are set up to deliver that arctic air down over the continent. Eyes on that in the coming days. Quick news here. We're starting with the past given the huge interest lately in solar bursts in antiquity. Anthony Peratt from Los Alamos National Lab considered a must-read paper, so check it out if you're new here. By the way, that's a four-current formation, not a cave drawing. Gotta to toss one more blast from the past in here. Mueller back decades ago discussing how a massive solar blast flash cooked the moon. But those relate to the new micronova concept we've been exploring. And now last but not least, a step in the right direction from cosmology as Bose-Einstein condensate dark matter is being more seriously explored. FYI, this is not like other dark matter and that all the particles would indeed be normal matter. And it might even be what preceded what they interpret as the Big Bang. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Website members, it is Saturday, so your Fly on the Wall podcast will hit the premium content section in a few hours. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.